Hello students, let us find the particular solution of y triple dash equal to x square plus e power negative x sin x. The difference between this problem and the previous problems that we have done is that the right hand side is a sum of two functions and one of the function is again the product of two functions. So in such case, how to find the particular solution? Let us see now. Now first we have to write the annihilator operator capital M. Now here we have x square. The annihilator operator for x bar k is y uh, with the derivative k plus 1. That is y differentiated k plus 1 times. So let us write that here. So for x bar k it is y k plus 1. And for e power a x sin b x it is so we have it here e power a x sin b x is equal to y double dash negative 2 a y dash plus a squared plus b squared so let us write that now so now the annihilator op operator capital M will be equal to for x square it is y differentiated 2 plus 1 times because the value of k here is 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 and when we have a plus we have to take the product of the annihilator operator of the next function. Now here the next function is e power ax sin bx where the value of a is equal to negative 1 and the value of b is equal to 1. So let us substitute that here. So it will become y double dash. So a is negative 1. So when this negative gets multiplied with that negative 1, it becomes plus 2y dash plus a squared plus b squared. a squared is negative 1 squared which is 1. b squared is 1. And so 1 plus 1 will be 2. So this m is the annihilator operator. When this is operated upon L of y, the right hand side becomes 0. So now directly we can write the characteristic polynomial of ml. We know that the characteristic polynomial of ml, okay, that is equal to characteristic polynomial of m multiplied with characteristic polynomial of L. So therefore, the characteristic polynomial of ML will be characteristic polynomial of M. So characteristic polynomial of this is R cube multiplied with R squared plus 2R plus 2 and then multiplied with the characteristic polynomial of L. L of y is what? y triple dash. So the characteristic polynomial of y triple dash is r cube. So multiplied with r cube is equal to 0. So now the value of r will be here we have r cube and r cube so r power 6. So r power 6 will be equal to 0 from which we get r equal to 0 that is of multiplicity multiplicity 6 that is r equal to 0 6 times okay so r is equal to 0 6 times and then now for this r square plus 2 r plus 2 is equal to 0 so from this we obtain the value of r to be it is negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 8 divided by 2 and so the value of r from this will be equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 4 which can be written as 2i divided by 2. So therefore the value of r is negative 1 plus or minus i. So here we have r power 6 as 0 because of which we got r to be equal to 0 which is of multiplicity 6 and here we have the value of r to be equal to negative 1 plus or minus i. So it is an imaginary root where alpha is equals to negative 1 and beta is equal to 1. So now let us write the most general solution xi of x. 
So the most general solution xi of x will be equal to now for r equal to 0 6 times so it is of multiplicity 6 so it will be c1 plus c2 x e power 0 x so again 1 plus c3 x squared e power 0 x so e power 0 x is 1 so it's x squared so it's like that so c4 x cube plus c5 x power 4 plus c6 x power 5 so till here we have to write for r equal to 0 so this is the solution and then now for the imaginary roots we have to write the solution so it will be c7 e power alpha x so alpha is negative 1 so negative x okay and then cos beta x so it will be cos x plus c8 e power negative x and then sin beta x which is sin x so this is the most general solution but if we see here l of y that is y triple dash the characteristic polynomial for this is r cube equal to 0 so the solution phi will be this that is this is for r equal to 0 with multiplicity 3 and so this becomes the solution phi of x and therefore the remaining will be the uh, particular solution xi p of x so therefore xi p of x will be equal to the remaining that is c4 x cube plus c5 x power 4 plus c6 x power 5 plus c7 e power negative x cos x plus c8 e power negative x sin x now we have to find the values of c4 c5 c6 c7 and c8 and substitute here to obtain the particular solution now for that we know that l of xi p satisfies this equation which is equal to b of x so when we substitute that xi p triple dash will be equal to what is b of x it is x squared plus e power negative x so now we have to find xi p triple dash substitute here and compare the terms on the left and right in order to find these constants so that i will show you now so now i have done xi p dash and then xi p double dash and xi p triple dash here you can just do it and check your answer with this so this is xi p dash and then this is xi p double dash so after cancelling the terms i have simplified and i have written xi p double dash of x over here then again differentiating with respect to x xi p triple dash of x i have written here so then simplifying xi p triple dash we have obtained and then equating the coefficients of the terms on both the sides we get this so comparing on both the sides we get uh, 60 c6 equal to 1 so c6 is 1 by 60 c4 is 0 c5 is 0 you can do this and check by yourself and then c8 is 1 by 4 and sub after substituting we get the value of c7 to be equal to negative 1 by 4 so therefore the particular solution is given by xi p of x equal to this so this is the answer after that i have also written the most general solution here for your reference but the question ends with this they have asked us to find the particular solution and this is the most general solution you can do and then check with this and students this next problem is a question paper problem it has appeared in one of the question paper and this problem uh, is the last problem of this topic so this covers uh, the full topic actually so this is problem 7 find all the solutions of this differential equation using annihilator method so the same method we have used here so we have taken the equation we have found the annihilator operator and then we have found the characteristic polynomial and then the roots the characteristic roots we have found here we see that one of the two of the roots is imaginary and the remaining four roots we have here where one of the root is zero which is of multiplicity three and so because it is of multiplicity three here we have the solution 
xi of x to be equal to this. So this is for the three roots 0 and then this is for the root negative 1 and these two solutions are for the root 2 plus or minus i where the real part is alpha equal to 2 and the imaginary part is beta which is equal to 1. So this is the solution xi of x. Now from this we can understand that these two solutions are phi of x and therefore our xi p of x will be this. So we have to take that and write so xi p of x is this. So from this we find xi p dash of x, xi p double dash of x. So after finding xi p dash of x and xi p double dash of x we have to take and substitute all the three in this equation that is we know that L of xi p equal to b of x. So xi p satisfies this equation and xi p double dash, xi p dash and xi p we have to substitute here and then on simplifying the terms and gathering the terms we obtain this. So we have gathered e power negative x then x squared x and the constant term and after that we are comparing both the sides so that we get this. So phi c3 we get as 2 so the value of c3, c3 is 2 by 5. So the value of c4 is 3 by 10. So patiently you compare both the sides and check out for these answers. And then the value of c2 is 16 by 25. And at last the by comparing the constant term we get the value of c1 to be equal to 44 by 125. And therefore the particular solution xi p of x is this. So this we have obtained. This is a very uh, significant problem and the, we have the most general solution. We have taken and substituted here and we have written the most general solution also. This problem you must copy as an assignment problem. So two problems on annihilator is been, has been assigned for the assignment. So kindly complete it. Thank you.